Welcome back to Prey, everybody. Mental Fox here. Thank you for joining me again. I'm very excited to get back into Prey. I hope you're excited, too. I just noticed that I only have 20 bullets left. That makes me a little bit nervous. Where are we? Well, we are getting ready to... It says fuel storage. I believe this is the entrance to the shuttle bay. I'm a little nervous, and for another reason, my inventory's full. I'd really like to find a recycler. Uh, and... Since I would like to find a recycler, I think we're just going to go ahead and press on forward. At the end of the last episode, I talked about that. Maybe we would go back out there and see if we couldn't find old Josh Dalton. But I hate to find Josh and then find out that he has some kind of inventory that we can't even pick up because we're full of inventory. So I'm going to keep going this way and hope that um, we find a recycler. You can see there's a thermal phantom there. What the heck is a thermal phantom, you say? Well, thermal phantom... We read about him in the last episode, I believe. Uh, yes, we did. So if you don't know what a thermal phantom is, go back and watch the last episode. But I can't imagine you'd be watching this episode without having seen that one first. That wouldn't make any sense, now would it? Thermal phantom. Uh, wait a minute, let me go back to that. What are his weaknesses? Psychic. Well, I'm not psychic, so that's not going to help me any. He's walking around down there. I wish I had more than 20 bullets because I'd kind of like to shoot him. Uh, from a distance and either kill him from here or uh, weigh him down. Weigh him down? Wear him down. I actually wonder if he could see me. He is pretty scary looking. Look at that guy. He's uh, more than pretty scary looking. He's horrifying. Am I close enough to shoot him? I am. <laughs> I don't think I killed him. <laughs> and I have two bullets left. <laughs> you know, I just I just went for it. <laughs> you know, I just I just, just like I got him in my sights, I'm gonna shoot him, but now I've only got two bullets left. And how much health does he have left? Well, let's wait until Well Oh man, his health bar showed up for just a split second at the top of the screen. He's still okay, I think he's uh, okay, you can see his health. He's, boy, he's still got a quarter of his health left. Damn. I've only got two bullets left, and he shot me from way downtown. Way far away. So, I'm going to use these last two bullets on him. And see if we, I don't know, somehow kill him. Uh, I don't think I have any more long-range weapons. I've got a shotgun. I've got a stun gun. Got the Q-beam, but now it would feel like kind of a waste to use the Q-beam on him, since I've already whittled him down a bit, but we may have to end up using the Q-beam on him after all. Let's see if I can get a good shot on him here. Oh, open the door, please. He's not dead, and I'm out of bullets. He's not dead, I'm out of bullets, and I'm feeling like my only option here is to use the Q-beam on him, because I'm too far away from him to use the shotgun. I mean, I guess I could throw a recycler charge down there, but even that seems like overkill now, doesn't it? But we may just have to do that. Problem is, I don't feel real good about using that thing. Meaning, uh, my um, aim isn't all that great. I don't feel like I don't feel like the the throwing mechanic in this game is real good. And this thing takes a while to do anything. Oh hell. I just hit the stupid railing. Yeah, he sees me. Dog on it. I just wasted some Q beam. I think I'm gonna change my strategy here. I think what I'm gonna have to do. Jeez, where are my weapons? Why is four empty? What used to be in slot four? Um, I, this thing? Why are you not in slot four? What happened? I don't know. Don't fully understand this thing. How long have I been playing this? So I'm thinking I might have to get close to him, like somehow sneak up behind him and just get a good shot here with the shotgun. I mean, he's almost dead, but... Damn. Sneaking up on him is not going to be easy, and who knows what else is down there. There's probably more crap down there, let's face it. 
But there's an engineering operator. Where'd this guy go? He's directly beneath me. There is some kind of machine right there that needs to be fixed. You know what? Screw it. Got him. <laughs> I sure am glad that thing doesn't recycle recycling machines, although I think that's a fabricator. That's not a recycling machine. Well, now I have to walk around with a shotgun because I'm out of, uh... <sighs> I'm out of, uh... 9mm bullets. Huh, look over there. wonder if I could glide over there. I'm gonna have to give it a shot. Yeah, that's even broken. The grab lift is broken. Well, let's see how this works. Oh, no problem. Man, I am just, like, moseying on over here without looking at it first. There could be who knows what over here. No new data. So there's a Mimic. Well, no sense in shooting him from here. There is a Recycler that also seems to be malfunctioning. So all kinds of malfunctioning stuff down here. Can I repair malfunctioning things? I hope so. Let's um let's go and repair this guy. I mean who knows what's what's around here. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm gonna set him right here on this edge and see if he notices that mimic down there. Let's see if he sees it. Huh. No oxygen detected beyond this point proceed at your own risk. And it says VIP shuttle bay. Well, that's what we came here for. I want to go through the shuttle bay to get to um, the uh, lobby. That's what I want to do. I'm trying to get back to the lobby. That's why we came this way. That's why we went through the guts. Here is the um, grav shaft that's not working. So maybe let's see if we could wake this uh, this guy up. Come on, shoot him! Shoot him! He's down below turret. Ah, crap. Well, hell. I guess the turret can't see it. Oh, he sees me. The, the mimic saw me. Where'd he go? It was almost like he was behind me. Where are you, jerk? Stupid turret isn't helping me any. So these little... circles... I thought that those were um, things I things I was supposed to avoid, but uh, doesn't seem to be the case. There's nothing to be afraid of. Recycler and fabricator. That's kind of neat that there's signs for those things here. Um. Oh, there he is, right there. Can he see him from here? Oh, now I don't see him. Oh, he's over there. Turret, he's over there. Turret. Turret, look down. Turret. Ah, poo. Oh, well. So much for that idea. See you later, turret. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, I can't deploy him from here. Fine, I'll do it this way. There, take that. I mean, there could very well be more stuff down here. Another mimic! Yay! Is he inside of that? He is! Where'd the turret go? Carry. Set it down. Oh, can't deploy it from here, I guess. Deploy. Here, shoot that mimic, damn it. Shoot it! Shoot it. Shoot the mimic, shoot it. Well then, shoot it. What are you waiting for? Hog on it, turret. 
Where'd that mimic go? Oh, 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 did he get him? Oh, no, he just caught something on fire over there. I think he got him, though. Yeah, these are his guts here. Oh, no, they're not either. These are recycler charges. There could have very well been a mimic over here. There still could be. But what do I care? I'm still looking around. As if there's nothing to be afraid of. Here's a body. Brittany Lavallee. Oh, uh, man, I can't take the baseball club glove from her. Okay, let's see if we can repair this thing. We're going to repair the um, recycler. Did I repair it? Open. Okay. It still says malfunction, though. Why isn't this working? What the heck? Um... I don't still sell my function. But I thought I repaired it. What's going on here? So what else do I have to do? Oh, I need to turn on the power, I guess. Maybe it has no power. Let's see if this works. And... Um, hello, you can work now. Danger, high voltage. Eel tank. <laughs> well, there's some cool looking stuff here. This is uh, from the recycler charge I used on that Phantom, I guess. Got some exotic materials. Good stuff to have. Can I fix these? These terminals that look like this? Too far, too fast, one. Uh, I don't remember whether we read this one or not. In Kennedy's second term, the space race reached new heights and without his support, may have sputtered completely. A succession of moon launches heralded the coming of an accelerated, energetic space program, both within the halls of government and in the public eye. Unusual at the time, and especially in contrast to Kennedy's first term, rather than being simply a race between two powers, the Soviets in the United States seem to be reaching out to space together. What a lovely thought. Here is a glue cannon fabrication plan. Oh, we're going to go ahead and repair this thing too. Although nothing seems to be working, so... Is he outside? I think that engineer, engineering operator is outside. I think he is. Here's the moon. Um. Okay, I don't understand what's going on here. I repaired these things, but they're not working, which is frustrating because that cost me some spare parts and because I was very excited about, um, you know, about finding a recycler. So what the hell's going on? What the heck happened here? Uh, power control terminal. Okay, I just need to look around some more. Oh, you mother! Turret! Thanks a lot, turret, for nothing. Thanks for nothing, turret. Shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Thank you. Alright, you're not completely worthless. So anyway, Brittany Lavalle. I can't take the baseball glove, unfortunately, but I can take the shoot, suit repair kit, and I can take fuel storage key. Fuel storage. Hmm. This is probably the door to fuel storage, maybe? I don't know. Here is a med kit. Boy, there's all kinds of stuff in here. This is a, this is a jam-packed room, man. Anything here for us? Nothing hiding under those boxes. Uh, caution before cleaning or servicing. Disconnect power supplies. All right. Emergency maintenance again. Can't get in there. Okay. This is making all this noise too. What's this noise I'm hearing right here? Well, 
Um, here is the power control terminal. Oh, here we go. Emergency power, fuel room or power on. Hey, everything's on. Nice. Okay. Cool. Scanning target. No type of material detected. Oh wow, that also turned on the grav shafts. Nice. Okay, awesome. Well, let's do some recycling, shall we? We have a lot of recycling to do. Transfer all that stuff over. Recycle, please. Thank you. <laughs> I heard some breathing. Thought I, maybe I heard a phantom breathing. I don't know. So go ahead and take that baseball glove from her and uh, go ahead and recycle it. Okay, so we recycled like I wanted to. Here's a fabricator. What exactly do I want to fabricate? Well, I want to fabricate some more bullets is what I want to do. So we're going to fabricate a whole bunch of these. Because um, th these I have, have pretty good range. They're quiet. Uh, they're not too expensive to make, I don't feel like. You can find them all over the station. But... Um, Apparently I go through them pretty quick. <laughs> what number do I have for my... There we go. 150 bullets. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here's uh, here's Brittany's uh, terminal. Oh, some synthetic material I missed. She's got one email. From Edward Douglas to Brittany LaValley, Shuttle Bay Access. Hey, Britt. I must have just missed you. Please let me know when you're back so you can let me into Shuttle Bay. Sorry to keep bugging you, but security hasn't issued me a key card yet. Thanks, Edward. Huh, okay. Man, there are so many subtle sound effects in this game. I keep hearing something subtle. Fuel storage, unlock. What do you think? You mimics in here? No? Whoa, three neuromods, cool. Nice. Found three more neuromods. That's exciting. I'm excited. I am, man. I'm excited. Nothing under those boxes. Did I loot this? I did not. Cool. I'm glad I was able to do that without burning myself. Ooh, okay. Now, um... Scanning target. No alien material detected. Glad to hear it. Now, I want to go to the shuttle bay. Which, is it upstairs? It is. No oxygen detected beyond this point. Proceed at your own risk. Well, we have a suit, right? So we should be okay. I think. I think we should be okay. Just taking a look from up above. Just to see if there's anything I missed when I was down below. You know, sometimes it's good to look at things from a different perspective. Not sure what these tanks are full of. I guess fuel, huh? Okay, well, if we look at our map, look at our station map, you'll see that Guts leads to the shuttle bay. Well, we're just exiting Guts, and now we're going to go through the shuttle bay, which will hopefully allow us to get to the Talos 1 lobby. Uh, but do I want to do that before I go back out and look for David's body? 
Or Josh's body. Who's David? Um. Oh, man. Okay. Let me look at my objectives. Why do I want to go back to the lobby? This is all crew quarters. Here. We want to go. Let's let's do this. Let's go. Because we, we're going to need to uh, fix this. Look, lead Neuromod Engineer Halden Graves revoked all Neuromod fabrication licenses. I need to find his office and figure out how to reset the licenses if I ever want to make another Neuromod. And I do want to make another Neuromod. So we need to go back into the Neuromod division. That's a long way away, man. Uh, but uh, let's go backwards before we go forwards. So let's go ahead and travel to the shuttle bay. Let's shoot it first and then travel. I just pressed my uh, mouse button thinking that would indicate or uh, that would activate that. But no, that makes you shoot your weapon. Okay. Um, I'm really nervous about this place. I'm not really sure why. Uh, maybe because there were the warning signs about there being no uh, oxygen in here. But it didn't mention anything about no gravity. It just said no oxygen. So let's press a key and see what happens. Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Huh. Hazardous place. Am I going to be okay? I don't see an oxygen meter. But uh, the game's certainly making it a point to uh, let me know that I'm breathing. I wonder how big this place is. How far do I have to go to uh, get to where I need to go? I mean, we don't have a map of it. Uh, there is a uh, operator dispenser right here, though. What kind of operator do we get? Hmm. Enter password for an operator dispenser? This is a... Whoa. Whoa, Voltaic Phantom somewhere. Voltaic Phantom in here somewhere. Are you angry? It says, whoa, well, this guy already knows that I'm here. There's two of them. Whoa. Holy cow, how'd they know I was here? I guess they heard me walking around, I guess. Oh, that was neat. I reloaded my gun and didn't make any noise at all, but, but the way this game has been treating sound effects... That could have just been a glitch. But it sure is quiet in here. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Is she talking to us? I mean, we have a breathing apparatus, don't we? Or or am I gonna be in trouble here? What was that? <laughs> Would you quit making strange noises, game? Yeah, like those little sound effects we just hear. Boy, look at all those pipes up there. So there's two Voltaic Phantoms in here. Do I do I even care to have an engineering operator? Eh, maybe. Let's see if we can hack into this thing without hurting ourselves. I think I'm going to make it. No problem. Alright, let's go ahead and request an operator. Requesting new operator. Just for the hell of it. We'll have him floating around in here. Maybe he'll keep his company. Transdar Cobalt 14 Engineering Class Operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Okay. Hey dude, what's up? Talk to me. No, don't go away. Alright, fine. I'll see you later. So... We know there's a couple phantoms in that direction. This Warning. Oh. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Um, and there may very well be other stuff in here too. You know? Anything could be a mimic, man. Anything at all. Voltaic phantom breathing. I'm going to go into my objectives here, and I'm going to turn this one off, because we're not looking for him right now. I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to leave this one on. Hmm, I would not have... Whoa! There he is. Whoa, he, man, he's fast. These guys hit hard, man. These Voltaic Phantoms, they hit really hard. 
What is going on down there? What am I looking at? Is it just a fire? Security locker. I'd really like to take these guys out. Darn it. I also want to scan them. Oh, oh, do I oh I lose my scan. This guy is just so fidgety. Oh boy. He's gonna see me before I see him, and we know there's two of them. Mechanic facilities. We have no matching key card. Oh crap, he could just Warning. walk right through Oxygen there. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Cool. We got some new alien research. Uh, electrostatic burst. Create an electrostatic burst that deals up to 40 damage within 4 meters of the targeted area. Additionally, the burst disrupts electronic equipment, stuns robotic targets for 6 seconds, and stuns biological targets for 4 seconds. And then we also must have gotten some telepathy a while back that I didn't notice about. Telepathy, use your mind as a weapon or manipulate technology and objects at a distance. That would be pretty cool. Remote manipulation. Manipulation. Use your mind to retrieve distant objects and interact with devices up to 20 meters away. Boy, that's very Deus Ex. Machine mind. Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight for you for 30 seconds. Man, this stuff is awesome. New psionic aptitude available. So we got this guy in here. He's walking around. Oh, jeepers, creepers. So I don't think he can get out of that door. But I'm, uh, at least now he's marked. So where's the other one? We know there's another one around here. Well, ouch! Oh, bull crap. See? I wasn't that close to that fire. Open. So we got some fire here. It'd be really neat if I could get this phantom to, uh, come out here and walk into the fire. Apparently that's not enough to get his attention. I don't know if he could walk out there or not, you know, through that locker room there. Hey, what's up? Let's see, can he shoot through the window? I don't think so. He's just going to stand there and look at us. But we know there's another one in there. Warning, oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. <laughs> Let's see. What happens if I break this? Does this give me a way to um, shoot him from a distance? I'm hitting him. Not doing a whole lot of damage to him, but I'm hitting him. Well, I don't know if he just doesn't know where we are, or he's just dumb, or what, but... Uh, I don't mind using multiple bullets <laughs> to take him out. Whatever works, man. The body in there. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh crap! Oh crap! What? Ouch. Where is he? Got him. Run away. Wait a minute. Was that the... Was that the operator that I dispensed before? system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Was that the guy that I deployed earlier and he somehow became corrupted? I'm thinking it is, man. Walk around with this stupid wrench out. What corrupted him? I wonder what I wonder what corrupted him. Scary to think about. I mean I kinda want to deploy another one so that he could fix my suit, but I don't want him to turn into a corrupted one again either, you know? What the heck corrupted him? There's only two more left. Uh what do I do here? Um I don't know. New Let's test our theory. See if he turns into a corrupted one as well. But we'll have him fix our suit first. Transtar Cobalt 410 Engineer. Come here. Class. Thank you. 
Now, don't go getting corrupted, okay? I need you to stay with my friend. Can I get in here? I can. Warning. Tooling Oxygen room. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. I am nervous because we saw two things in this direction, didn't we? So I think there's something else in here. Well, aha, a mimic. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. And that's how you take care of mimics. Wish I could take this suit off. <laughs> Try looking through this mask. But I have a feeling we're going to be in here for a while. What is that? The heck drew that? That's kind of disturbing, right? Look, oh, look, it goes between them. Interesting. Huh. Mimic corpse. There's a body there. Any other mimics hiding in here that I need to worry about? Nobody gonna jump out at me? No good. Mary Stevens. So Mary Stevens, you don't really have a whole lot of interesting Morning. stuff on you Air there. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer what or an operator. You son of a bitch! I checked for you. Oh, 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 oh. This is a different one. Huh. This is, uh, this is something a little different. I'd like to get out of here. Oh, shit. Um, there. Because I want to scan him. Sulegaya! Where is he? Come here. I want to scan you, you little bastard. Come here. Don't be shy. Scan complete. More specimens required. No type and material detected. No type and material... So I just heard a... Did he just die? No, he didn't. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I have no peripheral vision in this thing. <laughs> oh, oh. Haha, you're dead. Surprise attack on mimicked object. This is a greater mimic. Hmm. Restricted access. What is this? C. Anders. Oh, these are just notes. Okay, sorry. I thought I was looking at research. Greater Mimic. Okay. Uh, a preliminary observation e equals. A preliminary observation reveals that specimen 14 is moderately larger than any of the other Mimic specimens collected from the Kletka incident, but a far more fascinating aspect is what appears to be its advanced mimicry ability. Specimen 14 has on numerous occasions demonstrated the, ability, the capability of reproducing objects whose size and complexity far outstrip the abilities of any of the other specimens. What's more, many of these reproductions appear to be fully functioning. Oh boy, great. Huh. Well, that just sounds lovely. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Alright, let's get back to picking up stuff. Cool, Q-beam cells, it's nice. Just trying to look in every possible direction because things could be hiding anywhere. Sorry, Mary. Here's Scott Parker's terminal. He's got a utility here. Grav shaft controls. Warning, please ensure there are no persons inside the gravity shafts when activated or deactivated. Well, I'm not going to activate it yet because I don't know where it is. Uh, oh, this is from Frank Jones to Scott Parker. It says, get your shit together. Hey, I don't know what problems you got going on, and I honestly don't care. Just get your work done on time because you're holding me back. Frank. And then here's a draft from, from Scott Parker to Anastasia Uriegas. Help. Annie. I lied to you the other day when you asked if I was okay. I'm not. There's something wrong with me, but I don't know what it is. I don't eat. I'm tired all the Warning. time. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. 
Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. I feel like shit. The only thing I want to do is sleep, and even then, all I get are nightmares. I went to see Dr. Da Silva, but she said there wasn't anything physically wrong with me. Wanted me to see Dr. Cole, but I said no. We know Dr. Cole is the psychiatrist or psychologist. I know Frank would just give me shit if he found out I was talking to a shrink. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You've always been nice to me. I guess, I guess. Maybe I just wanted someone to remember me after and then something bad happened. Well, where's his body? Why is Mary Stevens' body here but not his? I'm not really sure what we're supposed to think about that. Blocked. I'm just looking, man. I'm just looking for stuff. You know how I roll. <sighs> um. Got a cigar poster on the wall there. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Her other message says, um, you know, wait, you know, dispense an engineering operator. And I did that, but it doesn't seem like it's fixing the problem. Maintenance access only. Door here that won't open. Oh man, I don't think I looted that thing. See if I get back out here and loot it before I forget. Get some goodies. Cool. Yeah, we don't have a key card for the shuttle control room, but that's okay. We'll just climb in through the window and try not to cut ourselves. Here's some drinks. I'll take those. Why not? So we got maintenance access. In here we've got a locker room. And we'll see if there's any mimics waiting take a shower with us. That's a weird thing to have in a locker room. Uh, we already read that one. Why is that in the locker room? Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. I'm good. I mean, this game, there could be anything hiding underneath of anything. Could be anything on top of anything. Yeah, that's funny. I thought I would kick these, but uh, apparently not. I don't think I could be able to get up there. <sighs> could be something in these bathroom stalls. I mean, this sign could be a mimic. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything cool or fun in here. Alright, so this is the locker room. It's one sad little locker room. I mean, normally I think of locker rooms as being a place where you would shower. But, Warning. I don't see a shower. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. Let's heal that up so I don't walk into it. Voltaic Phantom Corpse, Typhon Organs, Crispy Frites. Yeah, even Voltaic Phantoms like Crispy Frites. No wave transmitter, Petri dish sample, and a Psy Hypo. Or a Sipo, as I like to call them. <laughs> That's not funny. Huh. There's a note on that uh, fabricator over there. I gotta, gotta take a scan with the psychoscope. Could be baddies in here. Well, the coast is clear, I think. Med kit. Thank you very much. Let's climb up here. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. 
Please seek a breathing apparatus immediately. Neuromod, cool. Glue, another glue cannon fabrication plan. Man, these things are laying all over the place. Does the game really think I wouldn't have found one by now? Let's see what's going on over here. This note. Take the note. We need to put a stop to this. Whoever keeps making duplicate items, stop. Fabricator is not a toy. Materials are not unlimited. Tim. Duplicate items. Was that before they knew what mimics were and they were thinking that duplicate items were mimics? I feel like every time I come across a fabricator, I should use it to make something, you know? But, um... Not sure what I would want to make right now. Let me uh, look at my inventory here. Can I upgrade this anymore? Well, I could make it more accurate. Enhanced precision for sneaking and zooming. Let's do that. Let's make a couple of weapon upgrade kits. As a matter of fact, I think I might already have one. No, I don't. Oh, I could have sworn I picked one up a while back. Um, let me see here. Put this away. Weapon upgrade kit. We're going to make a couple of these. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. I feel like something's going to sneak up behind me. Okay. Let us upgrade this thing because I plan on using it more. Okay, it is more accurate now. And it is even more accurate, whatever that means. Not sure what accuracy means in this game. This thing here, shotgun, I could lessen its recoil, but I don't really know if I've had a problem with recoil. Q-beam. Handling firing time. Ooh, I kind of like firing time. Screw it, man. Let's make some more weapon upgrade kits. Although I'm running low on materials. That's okay. We'll just get more. <laughs> I mean, with with more and stronger enemies around every corner, let's make our weapons as strong as we can. So we're going to up our Q-beam here. We're going to upgrade its uh, firing time. Fire for longer between reloads. Sounds like something I'm interested in. Okay. Alright. That looks pretty good. There has to be freaky sound effects in this place, man. Alright, let's see what else there is to see around here. Uh, I think this is actually it for this place. Really no place else for us to go in here. Unfortunately, there's no button on this side that'll let us open this door. So, um, over here was a utility that would turn on a grav lift. Grav shaft. But I don't want to turn it on if I don't know where it is, for some reason. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. Please evacuate until repairs can be made by an engineer or an operator. What is that place? Is that an airlock? Use terminal. I think it's an airlock. I think that's what that is. I have to unlock that. Where's this grav shaft, man? Waste not, it is your duty to recycle. I'm just taking a quick look from a distance. Let's see if I see the grav shaft. Oh, there's a body in there. I wonder if that's Scott, Scott Parker. Any enemies in here? 
get any enemies around you, Scott? They look like they have like a little break room here. It's kind of cute. Big Bang Candy. Wrench fabrication plan. Yay. Notes. Sorry, Annie. Annie, I know you'll never read this. I ran out of my office when I heard you screaming, but there were just too many of them between me and you. You were always really nice to me. You didn't deserve to die like that. And now they're in my office, and I'm surrounded out here in this cage. I can't help myself, much less you or even Mia. Even when I try, I still screw things up. I'm sorry, Scott. Uh, poor Scott. Scott Parker. Warning. Freight wire. Levels critical. Spare parts. A breathing apparatus immediately. And the uh, pass uh, card to the shuttle control room. Well, we're going to have a seat here with old Scott. And uh, end this episode right here. Yeah, we'll just sit here with old Scott, keep him company for a little bit. I was wondering if he killed himself, but it doesn't look like he did. We're going to keep him company for a bit. End this episode. When we come back next time, we'll keep exploring this place. See what there is to see. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you to all of those, all of you who do take the time to leave me likes and comments. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time.